Me, Captain Smith? Yeah. Hi, Felton. Where are the others? They'll be along, sir. Hi, Drake. And Chester. You men have stuck with me and found out that it's paid. It won't be long before the whole of Texas will see things my way. So if you want to take a chance and string along with me, there'll be plenty for everyone. How about you? You count on me. Good, yes, sir. Me too. Fine, well, and me. That's great. Sneed, what's your reason for hanging around the camp? If you're to be any good to me, what well, Chester and his men are bringing in a stagecoach. I found out from an innkeeper that an important official is traveling to Pegasus. I told Chester about it this morning. An official, you say? That's what I heard. And now I'll tell you why I've been hanging around the camp. If I remember right, there's a little matter of money due me for the last information I got for you. Oh, yeah. Thanks. That rat a double cross his own brother. <laughs> This fellow seems to be somebody important. I thought maybe you might like to see him. I must warn you, sir, that you're interfering with the federal government. It will not be tolerated. I demand that you take me to Pecos at once. Search him. Marcus Jeffries, the newly appointed Commissioner of Finance of the state of Texas. I am. 
It says here that you're commissioned by the United States Treasury Department to enforce tax collection in this state. Take Colonel Marcus Jeffries outside and uh, show him that view of the valley. I think he'll find it very interesting. This piece of paper puts the wealth of Texas in the palm of my hand. Colonel Marcus Jeffries. Boys, from now on, you're all going to be known as troopers. And you're now looking at Colonel Marcus Jeffries, the new Commissioner of Finance. And we can all look forward to a very promising future. You are to be congratulated, Colonel Jeffries. Your success in handling the tax situation in this state has been phenomenal. I represent the government, gentlemen, and I have sufficient troops to back me up. The people of Texas are beginning to realize my power. Uh, pardon me a moment, gentlemen. I thought I told you never to come here. Something important I got to tell you. I'll send for you as soon as my office is clear. I know, but not now. Go on, go on. Well, I just found out that Captain Rance and a band of Texas Rangers have entered the state and they're on the way here. Rangers? And if they get here and find out how you're running things, have Chester come here. Like you and your rangers come along, Justin. Sure does, Joe. Here. What happened to your horse? Jeffrey's tax collectors took him away from me. Left me foot. We've heard about Jeffrey's and his methods. That's one of the reasons we're heading for Pecos. Count on me if I can help. That's the spirit. We'll give you one of our extra horses to get back on. Thanks, right, yeah. Where you reckon we're going to camp tonight, Captain? At Grand Pass. We'll rest up there before moving on to Pecos. You all right, Joe? Yeah. I'll be leaving you here, Captain. But I won't forget what you've done for me. That's all right, Joe. Take care of yourself.
You're not well. The others, are they? Other rangers, all dead. You only men torn to find a lion. The only one. The Lone Ranger. I'll never rest until those deaths are avenged. Why did you arrest those prisoners? They were carrying guns. Well, that's no crime in Texas. We demand a fair trial. Quiet, you. You know you won't have any chance with a court-martial. You start riding like blazes. We'll give you a fair chance. Ready? Keep. The special administrator to Texas gives you full authority. Mr. President, you honor me with your confidence. May I ask if Colonel Jeffries has been informed of my appointment? Yes, he has. The unofficial reports of his brutal and heartless methods of collecting taxes have greatly worried me. I have never had the pleasure of meeting the Colonel. I am sure those reports must be exaggerated. Let us hope so. I leave in the morning with my daughter, Mr. President. I shall be anxious for your first report to Washington. Godspeed, my friend. Upon the success of your mission depends the happiness of many people. I shall do my best. Thank you. to fortify the old stockade in San Juan Valley. And a special administrator by the name of Blanchard is on his way here from Washington. Those Texans must be cleared out of that stockade before he gets here. If Blanchard talks to them, he'll have the Federal cavalry on us in no time. Now get out, all of you! Sneed. Do any of the ranchers suspect you? No. Then join them at the stockade and keep your eyes open. I'll do better than that. I think I know who the Lone Ranger is. He must be one of five Texans I've been watching. Why, I'll deliver him to you before nightfall. Glad you showed up for us. We need food and ammunition badly. I know where there's plenty of powder and grain to be had. Good. I ought to have about five men. Alan King? Yeah, I'm with you. Bob Stewart? Sure, Joe, I'll go. Jim Clark, are you willing to take a chance with me? Sure. Where Rogers? How about you, Forrest? Count me in, Joe. Good, we'll talk over my plan on the way. Let's get going. We 
want three kegs of powder and all the 45s you've got. Put up your hands. Why, you... Put up your hands. I have reason to believe that one of you is a Lone Ranger. Now, if the Lone Ranger will admit his identity, it will save the others from execution. All right, I'll give you 15 minutes to think it over. Ranger. You? Yes. I didn't tell Jeffries because I wanted to speak with you men first. There is a lot to be accomplished. Texas needs loyal fighters. But she needs the Lone Ranger, most of all. That's right. Jeffries won't keep his word anyway. We're in this thing together and we'll stick together. I can't let you die on my account. If we die, it'll be together. And for Texas. You men have the spirit of rangers. I am glad. And while it was too dark to figure out who was doing the talking, one of them admitted being the Lone Ranger. Make preparations for their execution immediately. Yes, sir. <laughs> message you want me to take to the stockade? I'm on my way there with some troopers to surprise your friend. We ought to all be together again by evening. administrator sent from Washington to confer with you. Why, well, I didn't expect you so soon. My uh, daughter, Joan, Colonel. Welcome to Pecos, Miss Blanchard. May I ask what's taking place here? A military matter, Mr. Blanchard. But come, come. You must be tired and weary after your long journey.
Mercato. My guns. Follow me to the stockade. We've got to get there before Sneed. Stockade is right around the bend. As soon as I get the gates open, I'll give you a signal. you in by the small gate, Sneed. Where is everybody? There's a mass meeting at the storehouse. You'd better join them. I will. As soon as I unload this powder. I'll give you a hand. Thank <laughs> you. 